You were talking about at the beginning that you see an opportunity here to, to, to preach a message of unity. I think the hardest um, conundrum that a lot of us are in in American politics, whether it's those of us that care about these institutions in this town or otherwise, is that how do you preach unity and at the same time um, you don't want to be near President Trump, and I get that. Mm. Um, how do you do both? Hmm. I'm, I'm figuring that out <laughs> by the day. <laughs> um, I think you inspire people. What do you tell a Trump supporter who loves watching you I, and is like, I wish you'd go to the White House? Yeah, I think that I would you know, try to share our message. Do you, you know, believe that all people are created equal? Do you believe that equal pay um, should be mandated? Do you believe that everyone should have health care? Do you believe that we should treat everyone with respect? I think those are the, the basics of what we're talking about. And I understand people feel um, upset or uncomfortable. There's, um, I think, some feelings of disrespect about the anthem protest or things that I've said in the past. But ultimately, I think I am here open and honest. I've admitted mistakes. I will continue to do that. I will continue to be vulnerable and be honest and be open and want to have that conversation because I think Trump's message excludes people that look like me and that are me, of course, but it exclu excludes a lot of people in his base as well. And I think that he's trying to divide um, so he can conquer, not unite so we can all conquer. Anything he could do to change your mind about a visit to the White House? There's like 50 policy issues that we can probably <laughs> reverse and uh, get going. Um, I mean, it would, it would take a tremendous amount. I think I'm, I understand that, that progress is sometimes slow and I'll never close any door um, all the way, but I think it would take more than, than Trump is willing to do. What are you going to do next? You want to keep playing? Are you going to get us one more World Cup? And would you at all entertain professionalizing your social activism, perhaps running for office or something else? Um, I do continue to keep playing. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm qualified for, for, for office. Um, There's no qualifications but, for office these yeah, days. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Up to 44, I guess there was. Um, you know what? I'm going to fight for equal pay every day for myself, for my team, um, and for every single person out there, man, woman, immigrant, U.S. citizen, person of color, whatever it may be, equal pay, um, as the great Serena Williams said, until I'm in my grave. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.